Today I'm here with Fabrizio Machetti from The Strokes. He's a drummer. I am. He's pretty cool. Thanks. Okay. I, that, yeah, cool. Cool. That was very nice. So today I have 10 questions that I'm going to ask you. Right on. Okay. So my first question is what inspired you to become a drummer? Mm, that's a good question. Um, well, to be perfectly honest, I was really uh, into the dudes in my band. We, we started at uh, 13, the band. We were like high schoolers or middle schoolers. What is that? Middle school? High school? 13 is middle school. Yeah. Wait, it's like third, maybe? Yeah, it's grade. Yeah. So I thought they were the coolest dudes and I wanted to hang out with them. And the only way that I could hang out with them is if I played the drums because they were all into music. <laughs> and everybody played, like there was a dude that played the guitar, there was a guy that played the bass, there was a singer already, and I was like, what can I do? I guess I'll play the drums. So question two, what do you hope for America in the future? Damn! <laughs> <laughs> um, what do I hope for America mm -hmm. in the future? Like, what I do you hope, hope will happen? I hope, I hope that America um, moves closer to the promises that it so boldly, um, tr uh, what's the word? Promi promised. Well, well b so yeah. boldly announces. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Question four. That's my fourth question. Ready. Okay. If you were to design a skateboard, mm. what would you put on it? Like, what like, would it look like? I'd probably put, like, a little sidecar for a pet. On a skateboard? Yeah. Maybe, like, I would put, like, like flames on the sides. Okay. A break. A break on a skateboard. That's a good idea. Yeah, thank you. Okay, question five. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? <laughs> I used to think it was coffee. Coffee? But okay. I just recently tasted the haagen Dulce de Leche. Have you heard of this thing? Mm hmm. I've every meal. That's all I've been eating for the past two years. I'm just kidding. If you could dye your hair any color in the world, even like rainbow or like... That color. It would be that like color. Like shimmery, like red, this color. Like orangey. What's your favorite color? Red. Good answer. So, if you could speak any language fluently, you know, like... And as well as you know English, mm. what language would you speak? Japanese. That's awesome. I love Japan. Me too. Okay, that leads me to question number eight. Right on. Where would you live if you lived anywhere in the world? Probably Tokyo. Tokyo or Paris. Those would be my two. Although, I recently went to Chile, at, at the uh, desert, and it was really amazing. If you could live in any decade of the 20th century, which decade would you live in? Wow, that's a good question. Um, I think I'm not one of those guys that, I, I like the now, you know what I mean? We should be thankful of the time that we live in and we should be conscious of what we do with it. Um, where did you get that necklace and what is it? Oh, this thing? Uh, a, a very intelligent woman gave it to me. Okay. Or okay, I should keep say... Going, keep going, keep uh, going. Let's hear about this intelligent woman. Her name is Lila. Huh. I really like this necklace. I saw you wearing it in the photograph that your mom showed me. And I thought that it was very stylish. Cool. 
and I wanted to sport it myself, and it feels good. I'd probably steal it from you. Just full disclosure. This is Lila, and I'm signing off.